Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, 10 Minute Design, and we're going to look at how to build a logo from scratch, how to design a logo. So, a few things first, you really want a logo that is simple. Don't overthink a logo, don't over design it, don't add a thousand elements to it. Uh, you end up having a logo that is way too complicated and virtually unusable for any uh, marketing opportunities. Okay, so, and that's really what, what logo design comes down to, is you want something that is versatile. Okay, um, if you're putting it in a uh, one color newspaper ad, well, you need something that can be printed in one color without just being a big blob of ink. If you are then making a multicolored poster, well, then you can go and put your, your kind of your colored version, or if you want to go even crazy, you can add a nice 3D version. And of course, when you get to video marketing, then you want something that can translate to video, and you can have a cool intro, and then put your 3D logo, or your animated logo, whatever. So you want something that starts simple, and then can evolve into something really awesome. So a versatile logo design, okay? so. Keeping that in mind, we want to start with something nice and simple. So what I often start with when I design a logo is this kind of um, logo builder file. So I've got a bunch of shapes and a bunch of stuff here. Obviously, I bring a whole bunch more in anytime I need them. But let's pretend we're building, um, I don't know, some uh, logo for a coffee shop. Let's do the coffee shop logo. So I'm going to grab, let's say, this guy right here. Okay, bring him right there. And I'm going to just ungroup and I'm going to separate the elements here. So I got that middle one. Now what I'm going to do is bring in that coffee cup here that I have. Let's bring that in. And what would be cool is we keep this here, but let's maybe get uh, maybe a letter in here. So let's say we've got, a, you know, let's get a nice script font. And maybe we go with something like this. There you go. Kind of got my letter in there. Good enough. So we're just going to take our letter. We're going to create outlines. We're then going to grab here. And this is a tool you want to use a lot when you're making logos, the Pathfinder. This can combine images. It can cut out images. You're going to see we're going to use that in a few seconds. OK, so we, I want to take these two here. I'm going to hit here um, the Unite. And this is going to unite the images into one. I can take this, I can group it. Now this is one object. We're then gonna bring that in here. Maybe right, just like that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna select just, remember I separated these two. I'm gonna select just the inside one. I'm gonna also select this one. I'm gonna hit the minus front and that's going to remove the front element just like that. Okay, so. Almost looks like a J too. Could be a JR, but we're gonna go with just that. So here's my shape. Okay, so, and another tip, another uh, logo, another logo design tip is you wanna have two parts to your logo. You've got the shape, you've got the text. Okay, and you wanna be able to brand both individually and together. Okay, so here we're gonna go with Rob's Coffee Shop. Then of course we want to maybe change the colors. We could go with a uh, brown like that, more indicative of a of a coffee. This at this point it's pretty much preference. We could make this a kind of a, a dark gray, and then this we could match the brown. And here we go. Got ourselves our logo. Now, if you want to learn more about the next steps of logo design, please click on the link below. It'll take you to one of my great resources where you can learn all about logo design, and I offer some great templates for pre-made logos. There's 3D versions, vector versions, raster versions, all that great stuff, even video versions, and I go through all the steps of logo design and branding. So please check that out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please comment below. Let me know what tutorials you'd like to see next, what business tips and tricks and whatever you'd like to see. Comment below. Let me know. And uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. Go check out my uh, website, robertbaldwin.ca, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.